What's up guys and welcome back to another video and welcome back to on my channel as well and today I will be talking about uh, the last month of the year that is December month hopefuls okay so I'm hoping that I will read these books and especially is the last month of the year so I think I should come up with the absolute best books to read and wrap up this year so if you don't know me I exclusively read thriller books and also when I want to read thriller books I review a book like a multiple times and I'm also a reviewer myself if you don't you can just check out my Instagram page as well where I review multiple books and also make videos about it you can check those out as well so first book is The Nightmare by Lars Kepler it's the second book of the Juna Lena series and also if you have noticed I've already put a bookmark which means I've already reading started reading this one so yeah it's a very fascinating book okay it's a very very fascinating book and um, till now I can tell this book has already put me on edge as per thriller aspect this book is already on levels okay and if you don't know Junalina as well, you got to check out. I mean, it's the second book. The first book is The Hypnotist. You should check that out, that out as well. So it uses uh, some aspects of hypnotism to help solve a crime. And that's where the hypnotist comes, Junalina comes, and there's a hell of a lot of things going about it. There's cults involved. It's a banger of a book. The first series of the book and the second one, The Nightmare. I am still going over the premise or the setting of the book and not yet into the main main action or the revelations made so I'm very much excited to read this book The Nightmare by Lars Kepler and also if you want to read, uh, give you a summary I can do that so he's an artist in terror the lifeless body of a young woman is discovered on an abandoned boat a man is found hanging alone in his apartment this is his masterpiece. Should the deaths be treated as suicide or murder? For people know the answer. But a killer wants them dead. And only one man can destroy it. Can Detective Inspector Junalina keep them alive long enough to find out the truth? So in here, let me just give you this. Uh, the murders or the crimes that happen are framed in such a way that it is of look like an accident it all looks like an accident and your first instinct will definitely go you know what well, it's an accident let's close the case but it is not okay it's something more uh convoluted which is yet to be unwound in the book and i'm still yet to reach that part so yeah big hopes and already loving this book so yeah on to the next book so the next book that i have got recently was this Claire McIntosh so it is hostage and the subtitle is given save hundreds of lives or save your child I mean it already got me I, I just I got recently from a bookstore and it was just like kept on the shelf like this and it's written this save hundreds of lives or save your child I'm like I need to check out this thing right so yeah this book uh, I haven't read more or much of Claire McIntosh as well so i don't know it's the first time i'm gonna try out however some of the authors have already written uh, it's hypnotically good by lee child uh, jaw-dropping twist by lucy foley and lisa joel as well has written feels like a blockbuster movie that's fantastic and also sheree lapena a nail biter of thriller that's also one and the guardian and sun these are the basic ones but the authors uh, the good authors that i usually follow recommended the books in the book cover so i definitely go for, went for it and especially the subtitle in it i mean like save hundreds of save your child that in a plane crash it's mad okay so yeah i went for this book and yeah let me just give you a so i haven't started reading this book so yeah i don't know much about it i don't know anything about it by the way so let me just read you the summary i mean you are on board the first non-stop flight from london to sydney it's a landmark journey and the world is watching. Shortly after takeoff, you receive a chilling anonymous note. The, there are people on this plane intent on bringing it down and you're the key to the plan. You never help them, even if your life depended on it. Okay. But they have your daughter. 
so now you have to choose so what will you do please comment down below if you will save your child or just destroy the lives of hundreds on the plane don't know yeah yeah hundreds yeah it is in hundreds literally yeah so you got to save hundreds or your child comment down below the next book which i have gone for is this the turn of the key by ruth ware so i have heard a lot about this author already and he looks like a very very nice author well written books he has all i've seen in instagram is check out ruth ware books check out ruth ware books and i'm like okay this is the first ever book i got from him and i don't know if oh yeah got from the author i would say and i haven't started as if you know because there are bookmark on it definitely so i don't know much about it but i read uh, this the dream house will become the worst nightmare okay and also when i went on reviewing founding up like finding out reviews for the book it was super super everyone was like super fascinated about it everyone was super super fascinated about it and i mean like what the book is about and this came out and just saw the summary of it and it was pretty mad okay so when rowan comes across the adverb it seems too good to be true a live in nanny position with then an extremely generous salary what she doesn't know is that she's stepping into a nightmare one that will end with a child dead and her in a cell awaiting trial for murder she knows she's made mistakes but she's not guilty at least not of murder which means someone is so i always uh, love a good trial scene especially the revelations coming up and especially proving a guilty person being innocent and some other guy comes out new things come up and how they go about it it's going to be super fine book all right because i love trial scenes or trial books to be matter of fact and yeah so i've got this one the turn of the key by ruth ware and i have great expectations of it especially because of how instagram or the social media have hyped up and i believe she, yeah the author is good so yeah this is the first book and i'm very excited to read this one um the next one okay so this author is always a um, comfortable read for me because when i read thriller books of uh, a highest form or if it's too immersive and all and i need to come out of that world i end up reading agatha christie's book light hearted crimes so his book name is five little pigs all right so i don't know recently bought it i actually bought with um, this book actually so i bought these two together yeah so i bought this book it's super fine apparently five little pigs i didn't have any reviews cause my internet was not working in that store so i just had to take it up and read the let us say read the summary of it and i felt very interesting so yeah so i got a, a new gotha hercule poirot definitely So yeah let me just read the summary so we are both on the same page. So a 21st birthday is a time for celebration, a time to look forward to the future, to marrying your fiance. A time to forget that your father was poisoned by your mother. Can you just do you see the sudden change of narrative over there? Marrying your fiance 21st right 21st it's like the early ages you feel happy and all. and then you forget that your father poisons your mother sorry your father was poisoned by your mother i mean like the sudden change anyway and that she died in prison when you were only 5 years old carla's coming of age present is a letter telling her that her mommy was innocent desperate to clear her mother's name she asks hercule poirot to go back and interview the original suspect a stockbroker who went to the market his brother who stayed at home a socialite who had roasted who had roast beef and the governess who had none and a disfigured young archaeologist who cried wee 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 all the way home so again it has the same uh, what do you say vibe of again proving that the guilty guy is innocent so yeah that's why i got this book and again hope you poor you know he finds the evidence and in in the entire course of the journey and he finds all the things which are quite excruciating for crime however it is 
unnoticed by everyone and then he goes about finding out and makes a big reveal at the end and always it's a big reveal at the end a grand reveal which i'm always hoping to love every time a uh, hockey boy does that so yeah it's again proving the guilty innocence so yeah i got this book and i'm pretty much excited as well for that book so yeah that's going to be a good one so the next book which i have is very very uh, very 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 different literally if i'm if i'm a crime thriller genre reader then this one is completely different and um, and also i might get hate as well for some people because i haven't watched it yet or i haven't seen it yet but i'm coming inside and i'm already a big fan of some anime yeah i've got a manga it's bleach yeah that it is the bleach volume 1 if you don't know i mean you might be knowing volume one so it's my first ever manga i'm reading however i watched anime I'm big fan of naruto watched all the episodes so i'm not an anime noob as such i have watched so many anime like the kuroko's basketball naruto uh, jujutsu kaisen and many of that but i haven't read anime as in manga so here it is is my first ever manga i'm reading and people usually like bleach a lot so i have got this as well and i want to see what all the hype is about and i haven't started reading it but i will soon read it it's going to be a one day read maximum for me so yeah i'm very excited about this so it's the last month of the year and i need to wrap up with a good note so i thought why don't i get in a new genre as such so manga the action is still there but not that action which you expect in a thriller book but something in a better fantasy type bleach manga so yeah This is something very different for me. I haven't done so. Like, I'll be good with it because I've watched anime and I'll get with it. I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely sure of it. Then uh, we have a new author again. I haven't tried out this author in this entire uh, series or entire books I showed today. Only one author or two author I have read. That is Agatha Christie and Lars Kepler and the other authors I haven't read. But I have known about them, but I haven't read at all. So this book, quite a nice one, Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney, and it's a quite good cover, which is super nice. I don't have books of good covers, so always black or very abstract ones, which people don't usually say. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful cover. So that's how you say you don't judge. I don't judge the book by its cover, but this time. I felt the book cover was nice, especially for a thriller book. So it might be it might be something interesting, right? So then what happened was I reviewed again, went on the back of the book and started reading this. Let me go ahead. Daisy Darker is arriving at her grandmother's house for her 80th birthday. It is Halloween, and the sea glass, the crumbling Cornish house perched upon its own tiny private island, is at. one with the granite rocks it sits on the darker family haven't all been in the same place for over a decade and when the tide comes in they'll be all cut off from the rest of the world for 8 hours when the tide goes back out nothing will ever be the same again because one of them is a killer so these people are stranded on an island while they're celebrating their grandmom's birthday or 80th birthday and someone dies and someone is a killer and you know someone has someone has killed them because there's no connection with the outside world because you are in an island so who's the killer who's going to be everything so it's going to be a good fantastic read and I already love the font as well let's show you the font don't read it this the font is nice i like the font never and there's some art in every chapter the waves you can see here so yeah pretty interesting ones yeah so these are the december hopefuls i have let me show you once again so yeah these are my december hopefuls and i believe i can read those and i can believe i can finish all these in this month and wrap up the year with some good note but yeah uh hope me best and also do comment down below if what are your reads for this month and How are you wrapping up this year or wrapping up your book reads for this year? 
so I might as well get on with the books you have read before and try it out next year. And do give your recommendations as well because I always give my recommendations and meet lovely people as you commenting saying Ki, I love your recommendations and also showing support to the sh uh, channel. And yeah, I want to hit the 1K mark this month, this end of the year. It'll be a big surprise and a big milestone for my channel. But I'm already in love, already love with the support my channel has been giving by the people who are watching. So yeah, thank you for giving all the support. And also if you like watching these videos, love my recommendations. And if you want to be more interested in the thriller genre of books where I give good account about it, do subscribe and like and comment down below for your recommendations so I can try out those as well. So I give recommendation, you give recommendation, we're all good, yeah? So we'll all be swimming in thriller books and everything of that sort. Until then, see you next time and I try to improve my approach schedule as well. Bye.